Hello students, today we are going to start chapter 1, Resources. In this chapter, now the topic which we are going to discuss is man-made resources. With the advancement in science and technology, now there is a lot of improvement in science and technology, so man has started making new things and better things by using natural resources. So man is using the science and technology for producing the new things and better things by the use of natural resources that gives man a comfortable life. So over the years, there is a lot of improvement and advancement of science and technology. So man start making newer and better things by using our natural resources. To lead a comfortable life. So these new things which are produced by a man with the help of science and technology or by using the natural resources are called man-made resources. The man-made resources are also called cultural resources. If I give you a cot example that cotton is a natural resource. Cotton is a natural resource but Man has used his expertise and weaves cloth out of it. Cotton is in the form of balls, cotton balls. Then man uses that cotton balls, he plucks it, then converts it into a yarn. Yarn means a thread. Then that thread means that yarn is being converted into a cloth. So, cotton is a natural resource, but man uses its expertise and weaves cloth out of it. Man weaves cloth out of it. This is a man-made resource. You know, in course of time, the man has imitated. Imitated means he has followed nature and produced artificial synthetic fibers also. Cotton is also a fiber. The man has produced artificial synthetic fiber like nylon and polyester and synthetic rubber. These three are the artificial synthetic fiber that man has obtained. These are replaced the natural ones. These synthetic fiber, they replace the natural ones, okay, because of their better quality and due to the shortage of natural ones. Because to grow the natural resources, it takes time. So, man has replaced it, the natural resources or the natural ones by the artificial ones. The artificial synthetic fibers are nylon, polyester, synthetic rubber. The natural one which we obtain from agriculture that is cotton, jute, etc. Human resources. Of all the resources of the world, man has himself. It is a very important resource. Man has transformed the natural objects into resources and utilized them for the benefit of his family and society. So, Man is himself an important resource. So, man transforms the natural object into a resource and he utilizes those resources for the benefit of family and society. He is the most important resource creating factor because he is both a consumer also and a producer also of all the other natural resources. He produces also natural resources. He consumes also natural resources. The pace of development means the growth, the pace at which rate the development is going on of any country that depends upon the quality and quantity of human resource. If a country wants to grow, a country wants to develop, it all depends upon the quality and quantity of human resource they are having. Human resource, see, they are having skill. There are many benefits because without human resource, nothing, is, uh, nothing can be done, nothing is possible. So we can achieve the growth by togetherness, by teamwork. Principal resources of the world. There are four principal resources of the world. Agricultural resources that we obtain from agriculture. It includes cereals and other food crops or the cash crops. Cash crops means a single crop is being grown. They are produced by farming for consumption. These are produced by farming methods. I told you agriculture is the only method we can produce these crops. And these are produced for consuming. Means for the consumption. 
or for the sale in the market or for agro industries agro industries means the agricultural industries so agriculture resources includes your cereals and other food crops and cash crop cash crops means a single crop when is being grown they all are produced by farming either we consume it either we sell it or either we use it in agro industries agricultural industries pastoral resources it include animal products like your meat milk fur hide skin wool etc they all are obtained by livestock rearing the livestock means the cattle is being reared and we obtain all these such things by the cattle sheep rearing dairy farming so these are the three things from where we can obtain the milk meat fur hide skin or wool mineral resources we extract the minerals out of the earth means or the beneath earth we extract from the deep beneath or the surface of the earth by mining process so mining is a process of extraction of minerals from the earth surface they are processed these minerals are processed they are refined they are transformed into a finished product these minerals are processed they are refined and they are transformed into a finished product example is iron ore manganese mica etc energy resources some minerals like coal petroleum or other abiotic resources like your solar energy wind energy water water means hydroelectricity can generate power they help in us to generate the power these are termed as energy resources which, which help us to generate energy so these are known as your energy resources very important topic conservation of resources you know gandhi ji has one remark there are enough for everybody's need but not for everybody's greed need can be fulfilled but greed cannot be fulfilled at all this statement reflects his concern for resource conservation that resources needs to be conserved you know what is happening now man in his attempt to live a comfortable life and for acquiring more and more wealth means more and more money he started a race for obtaining more and more resources so what man is doing man to live a comfortable life or for acquiring more power or more money he started a race that he want to have more and more resources from the environment he has become reckless reckless means he is indiscriminately using the resources without even thinking that it will be finished so reckless means indiscriminately use of the resources is going on excess use of the resources in the process he is harming the environment in this process he is harming the environment also because the natural things are gone and exhausting the available resources he is finishing the available resources which are there with us resources becoming poorer in quantity and quality the resources now which are left they are poor in quality and quantity both because the resources are being overuse because of the overuse of the resources it is being what because of the overuse of the resources the quality and quantity of the resource became poor uncontrolled exploitation by man man is exploiting the resources i told you to fulfill his greed he he is doing selfish activities okay he is affecting our biotic resources by indiscriminately i would say or recklessly using it without even thinking about the future along with it environmental factors like if change of habitat takes place or climate changes takes place so man's indiscriminately exploit the nature and have made many plants and animals becoming extinct from the earth because man wants to fulfill his greed so he is exploiting the resources misusing the resources because of what many plants and animals they have become extinct now they don't exist even if we are not careful we may wipe out the existing plants and animals and ourselves also if we will not think about the future if we will not think about the resources if we are not careful at all we may wipe out the other plants which are left the animals which are left 
and obviously ourselves also see this is the image that how the ban is using the renewable resources like solar energy wind energy these are the renewable resources the man needs to use yeah now conservation of resources nature is a vast storehouse of resources but these are neither endless nor unlimited nor these are well distributed throughout the world nature is having storehouse of resources resources are being stored in nature but they are not endless that it is available to us all the time they are not unlimited okay and they are not well distributed all over the world the need of the hour is to conserve the present natural resources means now we have to pres uh, means conserve we have to protect the present natural resources we have to conserve it to balance our present use in such a manner that we can conserve it for future so what we have to do we have to conserve the present natural resources we have to conserve means to prevent the natural resources to balance our present we have to save the natural resources to balance our present but we should use the natural resources of present in such a way that our future should not be compromised at all this is termed as substance development simple means is nature has lot of resources with it but it is not endless not unlimited and not well distributed over the world we have to conserve the natural resources to balance our present and we have to use it in present in such a manner that we can conserve those resources for the future also this is known as the substance development alternative sources especially i will talk about the renewable resources have to be utilized or used instead of non renewable resources so we have to use renewable resources like solar energy wind energy hydroelectricity the non renewable resources like coal fossil fuels means like coal and petroleum their use we have to control it use of fossil fuels like coal and petroleum have to be controlled continuous use in large quantity will not only end them up in near future but also causes pollution because your non renewable resources they causes pollution they are not environment friendly if we keep on continuously using it in a large quantity it will not means it will end up only in near future future generation will not be able to see those resources so we have to be conscious we have to keep in mind and carefully use the resources carefully utilization should be there of the resources by keeping in mind about the future what is sustainable development see three points i am telling you in this first is without damaging the environment the resource development should be there without damaging the environment second thing is it we should fulfill the present needs third thing is by not compromising with the needs of the future generation means without damaging the environment the development should takes place fulfilling the present needs but keeping in mind the needs of the future generation means balance the need to use resources and also conserving that conserving them for future we have to balance the use of natural resources and we should also conserve them for future this is your sustainable development what are the principles of sustainable development you should respect and care for all forms of life either plants animals human beings you should improve the quality of human life by conserving the resources conserving the earth's vitality vitality and diversity you have to protect the earth's vitality its existence its activeness and the diversity which exist in the country you should minimize the depletion of natural resources less and less depletion of natural resources should takes place means natural resources should not be exploited or depleted that a day should come that natural resources are over from the earth this should not happen we should minimize the use of the natural resources changing the personal attitude and practice towards environment we should change the attitude that 
we should fulfill our need not the greed okay this the person should keep in mind that we have to fulfill our need not greed so personal attitude a uh, person has to change and a person has to practice towards the environment okay towards the environment they should protect the environment enabling communities to care for their own environment the communities should take care of their own environment because the future of the earth its people that all depends upon the human beings okay the future and its people depends upon the people only okay it depends upon the ability of a person how a person can maintain and preserve the life support system so the future of the earth the earth's people it all depends upon human on the ability of human to maintain and preserve the support life support system we should ensure that all uses of natural means renewable resources are sustained the renewable resources should be used more and more the diversity of life on earth is conserved means there are lot of plants and animals which are found on the earth it should be conserved it should be protected the damage to natural environment should be minimized minimized damage should be there to natural environment then only we will able to take care of the future generation if we take care of these three, three things like we are using renewable resources we are taking care of the diversity of life on the earth and natural environmental system damage is minimized then only we can take care of the future generation thank you and have a nice day